Hi, my name is Carl De De Niro. I just turned 40 today. I know these lights on top of the head are kind of weird, but it's just so, you know, the cars can see me when I'm walking my dog at night. Anyways, I walk my dog at night because it's cooler. Anyways, I was born with uh, Cooley's anemia. It's uh, a rare blood condition. Don't make enough red blood cells, so you'd have to get blood transfusions every two weeks of your life. And then age one, you had to um, um, get the transfusions, of course. And then at age five, you had to stick a needle in your stomach to get the iron out because our bodies have too much iron in it. And, um, but you get a lot of iron from the red blood cells. Anyways, um, I just want to make this video because on, uh, today is my birthday, July 21st. And 2016 and, and now I'm 40 years old today and it's significant for me because when I was a little kid they said that you would only live to be 13 years old and of course my dad when I was little he always told me that you will be cured in your lifetime and you know what I kept believing it and eventually it happened, so I guess I was using the law of attraction, but I didn't even know it, it existed. I didn't find out about it till 2013, and that's when I started using it. At first, for many years, it didn't really work, and now, 2016, I'm now starting to be able to visualize now, but because all those years, I kind of, you know, when you get trained by your parents to stop visualizing, stop uh, you know stop daydreaming stop and that's their mechanism that they didn't know any better they're just a way of protecting you but I, I I know now that you need all that stuff to achieve all your dreams and uh, you can achieve all your dreams I'm living proof of it I'm the first male to be cured of a thalassemia tal major who is an Amy I mean in the US I don't know about in the other countries but in the US and uh, <clears throat> you know, NIH, I'm not doing that to brag. I'm doing that because I'm proud of myself because I went through hell to get that. You know, I'm a soldier, I'm a warrior. I fought every day. And I'm not doing that to, to say, oh, poor me or any of that crap because I hate sympathy like the next man. I'm just doing it to help let you know that no matter what you have in life, you can choose to do better, you can choose to achieve it. You can do anything you want as long as you stay positive. Now it's up to you what mindset you're gonna use. You're gonna use the negative route? See, I always use this analogy like, get off the negative train, that's what I do. There's too many people ride that. So I'd rather just ride the positive train and be happy, that's my personal thing. You know, you got a choice in life. You can be happy and look at everything, the goodness of grateful for everything you have in life, or you can look at the negative and complain about what you don't have. But I can tell you this, from experience when you're negative everything life is just seems a lot more harder and everything happens worse because you're attracting that that's the truth whether you like it or not everything in your life you're attracted that now you heard that all before and the secret and all that yeah but the secret failed to to give the real thing it's like the main ingredient that yeah they say that you believe it and it happens in visualize yeah that's true but you have to also really change all your your core beliefs your your paradigms and paradigms are the belief systems that that stop you from doing like from example when i didn't get money before back in the day it was because i kept that belief system that money was bad and money was evil and, the root of all you, and i realized it's not money is good it's just like anything else it's just what you do with it. And I only want money for good purposes. If you don't want it for bad purposes, hey, that's your choice. But for me, I do it for the good purposes. And the only reason I don't want that is because then I can help others when you have more money. You can do, you know, you can do some kind of things that, you know, you can help others with your time and all that. But if you have money, you can help a lot more people. And that's my main goal, you know? And I just do it out of love. No matter if there's a lot, there's a lot of hate in this world, but I look at it as a place of love. And I love all the people, and even if they hate me, I don't really care. That's their problem, and they gotta live with that at the end of the day. They hate something about their life, so they gotta take it out on someone else. 
that's just how it is. You know, I've learned a lot over these 40 years. I've seen stuff that you wouldn't even believe. I'm not gonna even get into it, but yeah, I made this bad decision in the past, who hasn't? But the choice is if you learn from it. Yeah, I've seen stuff that a lot of people will never wanna see that stuff on TV, the bad stuff. I've seen all that stuff. I've been there. I've been where I don't care if they pulled it, you know, the trigger. I didn't, I've been that, to that place. And I tell you, you don't need to go there. Because I've already been there. Tell you from experience, there ain't no freaking rap video. That's a bunch of shit. That's a bunch of lies. It's a bunch of bull crap. It ain't about, they don't show, they show you only what you want to see. The money, the hoes, and all that. But they don't show you the reality that you're giving up all your freedom. You're giving up everything for all that. And all those women, they ain't going to be with you if you're broke. That's the, that's the fact of life. That's it. You know, there are good women out there. I'm not going to say there's not. But it's hard to go and look for it. Because when you go and look, you don't find anything. But when you're not looking, that's what you wouldn't even find. I know people have heard that stuff before. But I know that's for, for the truth. Because I've lived it. I'm speaking out of experience. I ain't speaking out of my ass, okay? You know, dealing with the cure now. Four years, I've had this stem cell. I've had two stem cell transplants. First one, I almost near death died. And I have been near death 13 times. And I did die for seven seconds. I came back. And, you know, for me, God told me. I didn't see his face or anything, but I heard his voice. and said, I'm not done with you. You got to go back yet. People that don't believe God, that's fine. At the end of the day, you can believe what you want to believe. Or you don't have to believe anything. That's it. But anyone that knows me knows that I don't lie. And that's the truth. Because I don't need to lie. Because I, to me, lying is stupid and it's fake. And I'm not a fake person. I'm always authentic and real no matter what. No matter if it's good, bad, or ugly, or whatever. I just tell it the real. That's it. And you know what? I wish there was more people in this world like that. But reality is, there isn't. I'm the kind of guy that I'm going to help you regardless if you... I don't want nothing from you. I just want to help. And that's just who I am, and that's who I've always been. And you know what? There ain't a lot of people like that in this world. That's the truth. And I'm not doing that to pat me on the back. I'm not doing it for any of that crap. I'm just doing it because that's the real deal. That's the real of it. And for me, my therapy is, you know, some people go talk to the shrink and all that. You know what? To me, that's a waste of money, but that's my opinion, okay? you It helps you, fine. That could work for you. But for me, what helps me, my therapy is nature. Walking my dog, just taking a walk. I don't know. I do the best thing. I get the best ideas. And over there, and right now, tonight is the full moon. And for me, full moons, I have the best thinking, the best ideas. It's my birthday, and I'm so grateful, man, because... You're not here for tomorrow, you're here for today. So just be grateful for everything you have, not what you don't have. And money and all that, and well, that's great. I like that, like the next man, but you know what? I don't, I don't, um, I don't thrive for it. I don't just, um, I don't sell my soul for it. I won't, I won't do that for that, you know? that That's just me. Some people, that's what they will do. But you know what? I'm a leader. I've never been a follower. And that's what people don't like leaders because leaders are people that change the world. Followers are people that just go along with the with the flow of what everyone else is doing. No, I make my own trends. I'm a trendsetter. And I'm and that might be sound arrogant or whatever. I don't care. It's confidence. And I, I I earned it through the battlefield of life many times over. Through everything I've achieved. And you know what? It's because you got a degree that don't make that you're smarter than next me. There's a lot more brilliant people that don't have degrees than people that do have degrees. And it's not about that. A degree is just a piece of paper. You know, it's I, I think life life experience is more valuable. That's my personal opinion. Because, you know, you gotta think about it. Bill Gates and uh Steve Jobs, they 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 didn't even graduate college. They only went to college for a little while. And look how they did. I think, and they changed the world. By, right now, I'm talking on this device, this iPhone that he, he invented. People like that, they just had their dream. And no matter what anyone else saw, said, they went out there and, and did it. 
And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to achieve my goals and dreams. And I suggest that you do the same if you want to. But you know what? It's not a magic thing that's going to happen overnight. It's going to take a lot of hard work and sacrifice. And every day I have my vision board. I open it. Vision board, people that don't know, is you put all your hopes and dreams. Like you get, if you want, you can cut houses out of a magazine, the house that you want to live in, you know, in the future. Whatever, whatever goal you have, put it on the board, stick it on there. Or you could just draw it. And it doesn't matter if the drawings are horrible or not. It doesn't matter. It just matters that you, every day, read it out loud. And when you write the, those dreams on there, you are writing your future on the paper. That's the truth. Because I know, because this happened to me. I wrote down, I had a $5,000 goal a month before before my goal I wrote it down and I'm not joking 28 days later I achieved it and it's the truth I my goal was to win five thousand dollars in the lottery and I'm not joking every day I walk my dog and I say hey I'm a jackpot winner I'm a jackpot winner and I started to believe it started to visualize it and visualizing not like you see a picture in your head and all that at least for me it's not like that it's just seeing your future self already do it and then it happens. And the whole the key to that is you gotta block out all the negative. And that's the truth. And for me, it's worked. And for you, it can work too, but you have to close out all the negative thoughts, which is kind of hard to do, but you can do it. And you gotta be open-minded. Closed-minded will never work. That's just how it goes. So anyways, my name is Carl De Janeiro. If you have any comments, you like it, you hate this video, you love the video, you don't like it? I don't care. All attention is welcome because that's your opinion. Okay? So anyways, much love to the world. And I'm out.